Hello, it is Mrs. Red here from Mrs. Reds. I am here to show you what is inside the July 19 Reds art cart. And if you've been following me for a while, you'll notice that my background has changed. We've finally moved into, well, I've moved into my new office. However, there's not a lot in it. So it's very echoey at the moment. So I thought it's probably better that I sit on the stair, well, not the stair, the, the door, and, uh, and, and do my video from here. It is raining at the moment as well. We're in the middle of our winter here in Queensland, Australia. So uh, it's not too cold, not, not that cold, um, but it is, it is raining a bit. So we might get a little bit of rain interference, which I think is quite a nice sound. So I'm going to actually just launch straight into what's inside the cart this month. Um, so because I'm obviously not going to be putting the uh, the camera down onto the table showing you the products because that's inside right behind me there and it will be too echoey. Okay, so let's start with um, the canvas that is in the art cart. Wow, it's just started to really heavily rain. This is the painting. I'm getting rained on. This is the painting here, upside down, I thought it was. Um, so this little canvas, flat canvas, is in the art cart. And that's the painting that I did my example on. So obviously it's painting month. The paint that we have chosen, so everyone received one of these little canvases. The paints that I have chosen for this cart is gouache. And that is the Art Spectrum Gouache. Everyone's receiving a white, a black, and one color. So I use the blue, so that's the reason for holding that one up. Uh, and obviously as well, two brushes. These are the same size, two brushes, and a very cute little palette to go with it. Very handy. So, gouache. Gouache is it's not acrylic and it's not watercolour, but it's more watercolour than acrylic. It's water-based, so it washes up with water. Um, however, I, I know that it's more a watercolour, but I wanted to push it. And that is why I gave everyone the canvas this month rather than watercolour paper. Um, you, it comes out of the tube like a watercolour uh, and there'll be a little bit of liquid with it. You can add water to it to soften it or you can use it straight. It does tend to need a wet brush though at the least. So this one at the least is a wet brush. Uh, and the other thing that gouache doesn't like is going over the top, so layering, which is something that acrylics love. But what happens if you do do that is that the colour underneath comes through and that's the effect that I wanted to go with for this little artwork. So if you are to use the canvas with your gouache paint, A, it's not the norm, but B, you've got to understand that every time you go over, over a layer, that layer underneath is going to pull through. Um, but like I say, like all of this here, I absolutely love. This artwork is on the video that supports this video. Uh, so these are garfish. These, uh, this is actually a photo taken from probably my most favorite fine dining restaurant here on the Gold Coast called Restaurant La Bart, which is down in Burley. Uh, they're all over social media, check them out. Fine dining restaurant, it's a little restaurant, it's only been there for about a year and the food is absolutely amazing and they put this photo up on their Instagram page about two, two three weeks ago um, of the four garfish on the plate and I immediately went there's a painting in that knowing that I had to do this and went there we go I've got my subject so that little painting there uh, like I said gouache is not really used on canvas, watercolour paper, mixed media paper, cartridge paper. You can also use gouache over the top of acrylic for highlighting as well. Uh, you can use it with pens, although I can't remember if pens will go over the top of gouache and how well they'll go. 
so something to test out as well. But for my art carders who are receiving this month's art cart, um, play around with your one colour and your black and white. Obviously when you mix black to it, it's going to be a very dark, you can't really see it here, but there's not really much black in this at all. It's a really, really deep blue. Um, and obviously using the white paint, you're getting a real tonal mix of that blue through to that light as well. So that one's a phthalo blue that I used in that. So it's pretty true to the colour of the, oh, it's trying to focus, there we go. Pretty true to the colour that's on the, uh, the tube there. All right, that's it. Um, you get your social media card as well. Remember the little square one. Um, photograph your work, put on social media and put that on there. And um, make sure you check out the Instagram page, the Facebook page, and obviously the website as well, because I've had some exciting news that I launched today in regards to international artists coming out to Australia. And I've got Donna Downey coming out in September this year. So I'd love for um, people in Australia and abroad to join us for that workshop down in Adelaide. It's going to be awesome. I cannot wait for it. And um, until the next video, thank you for your time and I will see you again and happy painting.